Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're doing episode six on the series I started a few weeks back on underrated and or underappreciated guitar players. So to me, these are guitar players that may not be in the spotlight as much as they once were. And also guitar players that just don't seem to get the recognition I feel that they deserve. All right, so we're gonna start this episode off with Robin Trower. So let's check out some clips of just how great Robin is on the guitar. Second longest playing member in the group Judas Priest. Well, it's Glenn Tipton. And he's followed only by Ian Hill, the bass player. And Ian and Glenn are the longest running band members of Judas Priest. Let's check out Glenn in a couple of clips. <laughs>
1972, Bill Nelson formed the rock group Bebop Deluxe. And at one time, Bill Nelson was described as the most underrated guitar player in the world. In 2015, Bill Nelson was awarded the Visionary Award at the Progressive Music Awards. <laughs> Coming in next, we've got Chris Impelitary. Now, in 2003, Chris was voted in a Guitar One magazine poll as the second fastest shred guitar player in the world. And as you can see in these clips, he's quite speedy. <laughs> Up next is one of the founding members of two iconic groups, the Guess Who and Bachman Turner Overdrive. And of course, I'm talking about Randy Bachman.
Next, we're going to take a look at American guitarist Andy Timmons. And I remember Andy back when he was playing in the group Danger Danger. So this guy kind of, to me, is along the same lines of like a Steve Vai or Joe Satriani, Paul Gilbert, and Richie Kotzen type virtuoso shred type guitar player. The guy just plays some phenomenal, beautiful melodies. <laughs> A lot of times when we think of Canadian rock bands, we tend to immediately put our attention onto Rush. However, there are far more rock bands that come out of Canada that are phenomenal. One of those bands in particular is Saga. And the first time I heard Saga, I immediately fell in love with their music, just the technical aspects of all of it and the fantastic melodies and rhythms. And the guitarist for them is Ian Crichton. <music>
One of the greatest country finger style guitar players right up there alongside Tommy Emmanuel is Jacksonville, Florida native Doyle Dykes. That's right. Another great guitar player that gets largely unnoticed is Randy Hansen. Now, a lot of you guys might recognize Randy as the guitar player that does like the Jimi Hendrix type tribute band, but his career goes all the way back to the late 70s when he actually had uh, some of his music in the soundtrack for the movie Apocalypse Now. He's had an amazing career working with all sorts of musicians, touring with some of the biggest names in the industry. Let's check out this clip here of Randy playing in his rock tribute act honoring the late, great Jimi Hendrix.
Coming into my final spot for today's episode is Martin Barr from the group Jethro Tull. Now, a lot of you know just how amazing Martin is as a guitar player, but even in his older age, he's still got the chops and the wonderful melodies. Hey, let me know what you think. Drop me some of those comments down below. And I've already got a great list, a really long list of players. Um, I do need to get maybe some more of the lady guitar players in there. So that list is obviously going to be shorter than the, the guys. But any lady guitar players you want to see featured, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Till next time, keep rocking on.